Billy Jean Moffat King was born on November the 22nd, 1943, in Long Beach, California. Today, she's retired, but during her career, she won 12 Grand Slam singles titles, 14 Grand Slam women's doubles titles, and 11 Grand Slam mixed doubles titles. She's generally considered to be one of the greatest female tennis players and female athletes in history. King has long been an outspoken advocate against sexism in sport and society. Perhaps the tennis match for which she is best remembered was the Battle of the Sexes in 1973, in which she defeated Bobby Riggs, a former Wimbledon men's champion who'd been the world number one tennis player in 1946 and 47. Despite King's achievements at the world's biggest tennis tournaments, the public best remembers King for her win over a 55-year-old man in 1973. Bobby Riggs had been a top men's player in the mid-1940s, the world's best player. He then went on to be a well-known tennis hustler who made a living promoting himself and playing the challenge matches. In 1973, he took on the role of male chauvinist and claiming that the women's game was so inferior to the men's game, even a 55-year-old like himself could beat the current top female players, and he challenged Margaret Court to a match and beat her, 6-2, 6-1. King, who previously had rejected challenges from Riggs, then accepted a lucrative financial offer to play him at the Houston Astrodome in Texas on September the 20th, 1973 in an event dubbed the Battle of the Sexes. Not surprisingly, the match garnered huge publicity. In front of over 30,000 spectators and a worldwide television audience estimated at 50 million in 37 countries, King beat Riggs 6-4, 6-3, 6-3. The match is considered a very significant event in developing greater recognition and respect for women's tennis. King said, I thought it would set us back 50 years if I didn't win that match. It would ruin the women's tennis tour and affect all women's self-esteem. King retired from competitive play and singles at the end of 1983 and was inducted into the International Tennis Hall of Fame in 1987. In 1990, Life magazine named her one of the 100 most important Americans of the 20th century. In 1971, King began an intimate relationship with her secretary, Marilyn Barnett. King acknowledged it and became the first prominent American athlete to openly admit to having a gay relationship. In 2001, she received an award for her devotion to reducing discrimination against gays, lesbians and bisexuals. Initially, she was a great campaigner for women's rights, but later focused on the bigger picture of all rights, including racial discrimination. Billie Jean was very instrumental in attaining equal prize money for women tennis players and also did much in regards to equal opportunities in the workforce. This is 1965 in Australia and Billie Jean King is playing Australia's Margaret Court. Court won this event and also the Wimbledon crown for that year. Billie Jean King's tennis career was nothing short of outstanding. She won 67 professional and 37 amateur singles titles and helped the United States win the Fed Cup seven times. She played 51 Grand Slam events in singles from 1959 through to 1983 and she won the last seven Grand Slam singles finals in which she played. It may be some time before Billie Jean King's incredible success on the tennis court is equaled, let alone surpassed.